<laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you, and welcome to the final uh, presentation of our Getting Ready for 2022 webinar to help you get your Bill Track 50 account all rolled over and ready for the new sessions, which are coming like a freight train. So can't stop it. Might as well deal with it. All right, so uh, it will be today. Uh, I am presenting, obviously. So hi, I'm Karen, and we've got Patsy here. Say hi to everybody, Patsy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and if you would like to reach either one of us, I think you all already know how, but there's our email addresses. Also, we will be mailing you this entire slide deck tomorrow uh, after the presentation is over. So don't feel like you've got to take notes or remember all of this. We're going to be sending you all of these links, all of these videos, all of this information in the slide deck after the presentation. Um, that'll come when it gets sent out automatically tomorrow. So just sit back and watch and just sort of absorb all of these things that we're going to uh, inform you of and advise you about. All right, so that is uh, the welcome. And then I'd like to start with a quote. So an inspirational quote about being prepared. So congratulations for getting here and trying to get prepared before things get too bad with the sessions. Um, all right, so here we go. This is uh, the agenda for today. So we're going to highlight some new features that we unroll, uh, rolled out over the summer, as well as some more recent ones, just so that you know everything that is now available in your account, in case some of it will be useful to you this year. We will talk about how to review your account and the sorts of things that we ask you to look at. Um, once a year, and this is the time of year to do it. And then we'll talk about how to take some snapshots to save your work and then also roll over your sheets to 2022. We'll talk about a little bit of housekeeping that we suggest that you do. And obviously I will take your questions, all right? Um, and then off we go to try to make a success out of the new year. All right, so here we go, starting right out with the new features. And this list just keeps getting longer, so let's get to it. Uh, so the most important thing that changed over the summer, I think you would agree, Patsy, is the query, yes? Yeah. So this is new functionality that we have added to the query screen. Now, if you have been in since the summer, then you probably didn't even notice. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, but let me show you uh, what we're talking about here. So I've got my Bill Track 50 here, so we'll just do a quick live demo. Uh, so the new screen is pretty much looks like the old screen, try to make everything comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new search and I'm going to make a complicated query to show off the new capabilities. All right. So uh, all of the action is here in, in this little add search conditions. So as always, you've got to start by picking a state. I'll just pick everything. And then instead of having the any of all of and none of boxes already fixed here, you now get to choose what kind of search you want to do. And importantly, you get to choose how many you want to do. So if I make an any of search, so I'm going to say I need any of these words. Um, so this is going to be the same as it ever was. I'm going to say marijuana and marijuana uh, and then some form of the word cannabis. Great. So that's fine. Uh, and anyone who's ever had to search marijuana, it's always an irritation that some states spell it with an H. Um, so you've always had to have that extra search term in there. All right, so that's fine. But now kind of the point of the expansion is I can now add another any of line. So it's fine if I was searching for marijuana, great, I'm done, I've written that. But what if I actually was interested in expungement? So I could do, expunge or expungement or whatever and that's fine but also in some states they call it expunction same thing uh, and maybe i want to go ahead and grab uh sealed records while i'm at it uh or sealed records all right so maybe i want to add those extra things in there too so now i've got two any of lines so that gives you just that much more flexibility to search for one of these words plus one of these words. So either marijuana or marijuana or cannabis plus something from this line too. So as you see, that just gives you a little extra ability to write a query. And then I can continue to add more lines. 
um, and build up my query into what I want it to be. So that is the new expanded query functionality. So it's not anything too scary. You don't even have to worry about it. If you don't want to, you can just add an any of line or an all of line, call it done. Uh, but if you need to add additional lines, then it will do that for you. And I want to make one additional note here. So here I said contains any of, but let's say, uh, I'm sorry, here I said any of, and then I added a second any of line. So it's saying to me, any of and any of, meaning it's got to do this and this. So this is just a little reminder of how this is going to work. Now, let's say that I had wanted some all of words. Uh, so if I had said it's got to be all of uh, minimum and wage uh, and uh, I don't know, moratorium for some reason. All right. So I'm saying like I've got to have all of those words in there. Um, but then maybe I'm going to make a second uh, olive line. And then here I'm going to say or living wage moratorium. All right, so now uh, it's going to tell me that I want all of these words or all of these words. So it's going to guess what you want, but it's going to make explicit which way it's guessing. So as you build this up, it should be quite, it, it, it's going to guess, and hopefully it's going to guess what you want. Um, but it's also explaining to you right here uh, what it's doing when you add the extra line. All right, so that is by far the most complicated thing we're going to talk about today. Any questions on the new query and being able to add additional lines? That's all that's new. We expanded it so that you could add additional lines and write a more complicated query. All right, so if you do think of a question, please do ask at any time. Again, you can chat it to us. You can put it in the question pane or you can raise your hand. Um, and uh, Patsy's trying to keep track of all of that. Um, but hopefully this proves useful to you as you start to write new queries and explore new topics. You've got these new um, flexible ways to write a query. You might want to consider rewriting some of your old queries, but if they're working, you might not want to mess with them. Um, but this is the new query stuff. All right, so that is the main thing that I wanted to point out there. So let's move that out of the way. Uh, so we've got a whole big post about it and how it works, as well as a video of me doing it again. So if you've got any questions, again, we'll mail you this and you can review. All right. So the next big thing that we added uh, is the roll up. So we made a whole new type of bill sheet. So I'm going to drag my example over here again. So Patsy, have you found a, a place to use this? Um, a new one that actually came to mind uh, recently was a user said, hey, this will be great for my compliance um, and getting a chance to have them all recorded in a place where they've either had to register their position or they were actively lobbying on something. Perfect. I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. I hadn't thought of that one. That makes sense. Yeah. OK, so as you heard, uh, it's a way to bring everything together and put everything in one place. So I'm going to go ahead and say new sheet. And again, hopefully you never even noticed this if you've been in lately, but there's now an option down here. Normally you're gonna to wanna to make a query, so that's the default, but you have this new option of the type of bill sheet being a roll up. So I'm gonna go ahead and say create here. Um, and so what I can do now, instead of getting a query tab, is I get a roll up tab. So everything else is the same. I can still set alerts on this and make widgets from it and whatnot. Um, look at the bill sheet and filter and export all of the normal stuff. But the roll up means rolling up several sheets into one sheet. So as Patsy was just mentioning, if I'm trying to comply with some health stuff, then I can put in my different queries um, and say, OK, I'm going to do that plus my opioid stuff, plus whatever it was about licensing I wanted to do um, and bring those all together. So now I'm going to say bills that exist on any sheet. So any bill from any one of these is all going to come together onto one sheet. And if I want to, I can also include my user data. So if I have added positions or comments, I can include those in the roll up or I can choose not to. Um, so that was a good example, Patsy. I hadn't thought of that either. Uh, but you could also use that if you've got several different topics, but you want to put them all onto one map, for example. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say save. And so then that'll bring that all together and put it onto one big bill sheet. And then I can do any bill sheet thing with it. All right, so that is all that is. Now it updates every night. So if you change one of the um, underlying bill sheets, it's not gonna change right away. So it'll sit here and wait for you to either come to the roll up tab and say save, which will cause it to go refresh itself. So if you want it to update right away, it will. Otherwise, if you're just messing around with a bill sheet and like looking at some old years and then putting it back, it's not going to update until the overnight update. So you could actually do whatever you want in your account without messing up the roll up. Uh, and then the roll up will just run overnight and hopefully you're ready for it to do that. Uh, but if you do want to force the roll up because you just added something and you want it to go to your map right away, no problem. Open up the roll up and say save and that'll cause it to go get the data again, roll it all up and put it in the bill sheet. All right, so that is the new roll up. The other thing it does, which I have finally found some people who are excited about this because this is why I was excited about it, um, is it will let you do the intersection as well. So this, if you're imagining a Venn diagram, uh, which maybe you, you go to Venn diagrams in your head all the time, I know I certainly do. So we've got our, our, our one bill sheet and the other bill sheet. So the union is going to be everything that's in either one, right? That's fine. The intersection, though, is where they overlap. So what bills are on all three of these? And I'm going to take one out because I don't think there's bill on all three of them. But let's say what bills are on my healthcare one and also my opioid one. All right. So now I'm going to switch it to bills that exist on all sheets. So now I'm saying, what is the overlap? All right. So then that'll come and say, OK, we've got 70 of our health bills also deal with opioids. So now I know that maybe these are going to be my most important bills because it's touching two things I care about. Um, or maybe these are bills I want to share with some other group who cares about just one of my topics. And I want to make sure that they know about these bills so that they can um, help me with them, even though it's you know only half of what I care about, if that makes sense. Um, so the intersection will also let you look at um, yeah, well, I mean, just the overlap. So you could have whatever reason you've got to find out why you've got two different or what bills are in between two different sheets. Uh, so that can also help you when you're trying to write a query in the first place and you're wondering, um, well, does this overlap with this other topic? Or if I take these words out, what are the word, what bills um, are involved in that word and that kind of thing. So really the intersection part is more of an exploration tool. Uh, for you to discover bills that fall in several places. Whereas the using it as the intersection is a definitely a practical tool uh, so that you can make a map of all of your bills or so that you can make one set of bills to share with management or so that you can export everything at once. Um, or as Patsy said, so you can collect up some stuff that you're gonna use for another report um, and put five different queries together and just maintain that all in one place so that it's always available uh, to counsel whoever needs it. Um, all right, so that's the new roll up bill sheet type. So it's a whole new type of bill sheet. Any questions about that before I move on? Those are the two big things. The rest of these will be pretty small updates. All right, is that all good? All right, then again, we've got the video and the how to post and everything and we'll send that to you. All right. We've also added the um, event schedule feed. And Patsy, I'd have to say this has been the most popular update we did. You, I'd agree. You, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so now you can take your event schedule. So we've always let you say, I would like to know when my bills are scheduled to be heard, right? And we'll collect those up into your event schedule and then list them for you in chronological order. Now you can actually export them onto your own calendar. So if you've got a Gmail calendar, an Outlook calendar, an Apple calendar, you can put them onto your normal calendar where you're normally keeping track of the things uh, that you need to know about. And it's pretty darn easy to do. Uh, so all you need to do is come up to your account, uh, and this is a one-time thing, and just go to your preferences and let us know, check this, that you wanna do the event calendar business. So once you've checked that, when you go to your event schedule, you'll have this little icon and that gives you the feed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that 
And this is the feed for my um, calendar. So I can copy that URL and then put it on my calendar. So let me drag a calendar over here. So here's my calendar, all my stuff. Uh, so now I can actually add to my other calendars, plunk, and say add from URL. And it just asked me for a URL. Great. So I'm going to add that guy. And now I've got my feed just like that. Now I'm going to come in here and give it a better name. So I'm going to call it hearings. All right. So that's better. All right. So let me go back to my calendar. And there they are. So these are the bills and when they're coming up. So this hearing in New Jersey at 9 a.m isn't really at 9 a.m. It's at 9 a.m. Denver time, because that's what my calendar is in, but then it's gonna be at 11 o'clock in New Jersey. So that's the other nice thing this will do for you. It'll take all the hearings from all over the country, figure out the time zones and stick them onto your calendar at the right time. It even keeps track of daylight savings time so it knows what's going on. Um, so yeah, this data, the hearing data, because it does change quite a bit, we've actually added an extra update into our update schedule. So we're now updating the hearings four times a day. So we're doing our absolute best to try to give you reasonably updated information on your calendar. So if a hearing gets scheduled or rescheduled, we will update your calendar at 4 a.m. right before the calendar alerts go out and then at noon, at six and at midnight. Um, so we do try to keep it updated for you. All right, so that's the new calendar feed. So you can put that on your normal calendar and turn them on and off as you want to know when the hearings are. And you get to pick which bills you want to track and all of that and put on your calendar. All right, so that is the calendar feed. Um, we also had a few other things. So the map that you can put up as a widget, we've always had it so that was colored by the number of bills in that state. But now if you put in if the bill is good or bad, you could actually color it by how good that state is or how bad that state is. And we'll just average your positions for all the bills in that state and then color it anywhere from red to green for good to bad. Uh, we've added a Twitter tab to the legislator pages. So now you can just see right away what their tweets are and look at what they're retweeting and all of that and see a little bit about them right on the um, legislator page. Uh, we've also added committee data and a new committee search. Uh, so let me just show that really quick. Um, so we've always had our uh, little quick search guy here, bills, legislators. Now we've added a new committee search. So you can say, hey, I'm interested in, I don't know, health committee seems fine. So you can narrow it to your state or just pick whatever state. And I can say, all right, so what's this committee? And predictably, it'll be a picture of all the people on that committee, a link to the state information about that committee, and then a little bit of staff information for that committee. So that's new data that we have added into the system so that you have someone to reach out to at the committee. And of course, you can click on any legislator and check them out. And as I mentioned, we've got a new Twitter tab for them. And so you can see their tweets. Okay, so that's the new committee info and the new committee search. Uh, we've also added some new help resources in the navigation panel. Bring this back over. So we've added this little help section down here. That's got our FAQ, our release notes, which will keep you up to date on all of these additions that we're doing. And the new thing, I don't know if you saw our December newsletter, but state stats. We've been working on our state pages. I've been promising these for a while. Uh, so if you do that, pick your state. So I'm going to pick, um, I don't know who's got some stuff already. Alabama's got some pre-files. So we will show you where, uh, what the breakdown of the House is and the Senate. Each one of these is a person, obviously, uh, where the bills are. So they've got their special session and their normal session. They've got the sponsors of the bills. We've got all of these are bills. They haven't introduced any resolutions yet. Uh, we've got how many bills are introduced each year from 2012. And then how many were passed is this yellow line. Uh, and then the same thing with resolutions. And then the breakdown of the chambers over time. So you can do this for any state. So let's look at a two-year state really quick. Um, all right, so this is what it'll look like in the middle of the session. 
So where the bills are in general, um, and again, if you've got bipartisan bills and they'll show up as purple for who sponsored them, bills versus resolutions. And again, how many bills are introduced and passed and resolutions introduced and resolutions passed and the breakdown. Plus for every state, we've got a whole bunch of supporting information, places you can go to learn more, um, the link on the state website about the legislative process, um, you know, just a bunch of other stuff in case you wanna read more about any given state. Oh, and lest I forget, up here we've got the session information um, and what you need to know about the session. All right, so moving on, uh, we have a new self-register tool, which will let your users actually register themselves for your account. So if you're gonna have a whole bunch of people adding themselves to your account, we can now help you set that up and limit who has access and all of that. Um, so that is kind of a special circumstance that you're not gonna be adding your users yourself. Uh, but if that is of interest, reach out to me or Patsy and we can explain to you how it works, see if it'll be useful um, and let you give it a try. All right, so those are some of the new features that we have introduced recently. Uh, if any of that looks helpful or interesting, give it a spin during the session and um, hopefully that'll prove valuable for you. And as we add more stuff, we're keeping those release notes updated. So you can always check those out in the help panel to see what the latest new features are that we added. And we're always attempting to listen to you and add whatever it is that you're needing to make Bill Try 50 work for you. All right, any questions about the new features before we move into how to actually get your account ready? Or any, any comments, anything I missed out, Patsy, that you think I should highlight? No, I think you did a great job. All right. Um, and no questions so far. So on we go. Please do ask questions if there's anything in here you want to know more about. That's why we're doing a live webinar. OK, so the account review. So the first, well, what we ask you to do uh, every year um, is review who you've given access to. So just go up to your managed users and make sure everybody in your account should still be in your account. So remove the users who should not have access anymore. And maybe you forgot to add somebody who should have access. So just make sure that list of people is the right list. So we give you unlimited users. We encourage you to take advantage of that and add anybody that you think um, is gonna need access to the bills you're following. And we're all for that. You know, we, we mean it quite sincerely because we want everybody to get the right alerts and be able to customize stuff. However, we do ask in return for the unlimited users feature that you once a year, end of the year, beginning of the year, you know, take a look and just make sure that you've removed people who just shouldn't have access anymore. Um, so that is our, our, our request to you is to please review your users. Uh, also, uh, make sure that they've got the right permissions. So if you did that last year and everybody is good, then just, and then just review the new people. If you didn't get a ch chance to do that last year, then this would be a good chance to do that. So just kind of click through your users and make sure that the people you want to be security administrators so that they can add new users, make sure that they are. Um, make sure people who you don't want to be able to like add and remove users, especially remove users, just make sure they're not. Um, make sure people have permission to the bill sheets that you want them to have permission to. So just take a minute to kind of go through and make sure your users are all set. Um, so obviously before the session start and everything gets busy, this is a great time to just kind of go through there and make sure that everybody is set how you want them to be so that they'll be successful for the year. Um, so yep, reviewing users, great place to start when you're getting your account ready. Uh, make sure everything is how you think it should be. Okay, we also recommend that you go through your sheets and just make sure that everything is what you want, how you want it to be. Um, so remember that bills that were introduced last year will still be on your sheet for states that have a two-year biennium. So don't be surprised if you still see some 2021 bills on your sheet. Those are bills in sessions that are still alive. Um, Review your query. So just make sure you're searching for what you think you are. Uh, and maybe you're gonna wanna take advantage of our new expanded query. 
um, double check that the alerts are set up how you thought they were. So when you first create a bill sheet, by default, it doesn't have any alerts turned on. So you might have made a sheet uh, over the summer and not turned on the alerts and you didn't realize it because your state was out of session. So it just makes sense to double check now that the alerts are how you want them to be before the states get going. Um, so again, that's just, uh, you know, before, before there's trouble, go ahead and just take a quick look through things. Um, and then just, this is just advice. Obviously you could do what you want, but we do suggest that once a year or so, you go through and just make sure your website is still working like you think that the widgets are still hooked up, that nothing is broken on your website. And if something has happened and the widget has gone weird or your stakeholder page isn't showing what you think it should, no problem, reach out. We will help you get it sorted out and hooked up correctly. Um, but yeah, just check, check that out once a year just to make sure nothing has gone wrong and we never realized it. Okay, so I have a piece of advice for how to do this. Um, so if you've got your bill sheets and you wanna go through a bunch of them, what I like to do personally uh, and you don't have to do this, but I find this helpful, is if you hold the control key down um, for your browser, it will then just open all of the things in the top without actually closing this page. So you can just open up each of the ones you want to review and then just, here we go, take a look at the query. Yep, yeah, these are the words I want. Quick look at the alerts. Oh, I forgot to put in the new bill alerts. Let me do that, save that. All right, so that one's set, on I go to the next one. Um, okay, this looks okay. Double check my query. Um, oh, I don't need all these years. Let me just change this to the current session. Um, yep, and then my alerts, this is what I want. So this is good. All right, so then I can, you know, so that's, that is my suggestion for a good way to just zip through and just review all your sheets real quick. Open them, look at each one, then you're done. Um, all right. So that is reviewing your sheets and just making sure it is what you expect it to be before you miss something or before your alerts are way too much. You know, you don't want too much, you don't want too little. So just take a quick peek at stuff um, before everything gets rolling. All right, any uh, questions about that? I just want to quickly add, um, because of the unlimited users and the customization of the alerts, her advice is applicable to your other users. And to the extent that you communicate with those people, um, I would encourage you sharing some of this advice so that they take a second to double check their alerts as well so they don't come running to you <laughs> later and go, oh no, I missed something. Um, so just, uh, just wanted to add that. That is such a good point, Patsy. So yes, absolutely. That is one of the first questions we get, the most often questions we get in January is why isn't this person getting alerts? So when you create a bill sheet, even if you share it with the, the person that you're trying to share it with, it won't have alerts turned on for them. So they've got to go turn on their alerts if they're going to get any alerts um, once the session gets going. So such good advice, Patsy. It's a great idea to tell your users to go ahead and open up each one of their sheets and just make sure their alerts are how they want them to be. Now is the time to do that. Um, and yeah, so any new bill sheets, they're definitely going to want to review. So yes, thank you. Yes, very true. Uh, we have learned that that is, and that makes sense because especially if you made a new query over the summer and there weren't any alerts coming in, you would never even realize and then, yeah, so just double check. Okay, great. Uh, so then actually getting your bill sheets uh, modified and ready for the new year. So snapshots and rolling over. Um, you can do this as part of the process I just showed you. Uh, as you, When you're looking at each one, you can do this step two at the same time if you want, uh, or you can save this for a different time. All right, so we do encourage you to take a snapshot if you've done any work, all right? So if you have entered your own information, if you've put in your positions, if you've added notes, if you've done any kind of work culling your sheet down and removing bills that are not relevant and that kind of thing. If you didn't just use your sheet as surveillance and you actually actively worked on it, then it makes sense to us that you would wanna save that work. Obviously that's your call, <coughs> but if you decide you do wanna save your work because you have made comments or done something um, that you wanna save, then here's how you do it. It's really quick. 
So I'm going to open up my biosimilar sheet. Um, and we'll say, you know, I've got comments and all kinds of things in here. So what I want to do is go to the manage tab and take a copy of this sheet. Easy as that. And then I'm going to call it my 2021 copy of biosimilar. Um, I definitely want to take the user data. That's the whole point of this exercise to copy over my comments. But I don't need alerts on this. It's just a copy. My main sheet is what I want alerts on. So this backup sheet, I'm going to leave the alerts off. All right, so I'm going to copy this. And now I've got a new copy of the same bill sheet. And they're identical right now. But what I can do as a second step is go to the Manage tab on the copy. And I'm on the copy. I can see that quite clearly. Say Archive Bill Sheet and save that. So what archiving does is freeze it in place. So it stop freezes it in place. So it stops getting updates. So it will not add new bills as bills get introduced. So this will just stay 2021 and then 2022 bills will not get added. It will, however, update the bill progress. So if a bill gets vetoed or something happens and, and a status of a bill changes, we will update that information but we're not gonna be executing the query and updating this every night anymore. In addition, it's got this archive tag just to remind you that it's archived. It doesn't have the X's, so you can't accidentally remove a bill. These are the bills you're trying to save. So we remove the ability to remove the bills. Uh, and then the query is also grayed out. So you don't accidentally change this and no one else accidentally changes it. So it really is just trying to boom, keep just a copy of this as it was when the year ended and when the session was over. All right, so once you have, if you change your mind later and you need to make a change, by all means, you can unarchive it and then rearchive it. But we do suggest that you take a copy and archive it, and then you'll have this. Now, by archiving it, it also does not put it in your little list here on the side. And on this main list, it puts it down at the bottom as an archive sheet. So it pushes it down and out of the way. So you've still got access to it and you can still look at these bills anytime you need them, but they're down and out of your way. They're not in your main list because you don't need them every day. It's just, just a copy for your reference. And further, you can go up into here and say manage users and go hide it from yourself. So if you don't even want it here in your list, you can get rid of it and only access it when you need it. Um, but we would suggest uh, that you copy anything that you spend a lot of time on. Just why not? You can have as many sheets as you want. So why not take a quick copy and lock it um, and you know keep a snapshot of where things were at the end of the year. You never know when you'll want to go back. All right. So if you know you're never going to want to go back, that's fine. You don't have to do this. You can also delete them if you you know never refer to them and it turns out you don't need them. But we do encourage taking a quick, taking a quick snapshot. Um, so you can do that as you're going through your sheets one by one. Um, all right, so that's how you do that. And then when you make the snapshot, it's going to be just visible to you unless you share it with somebody else. So you're not going to be filling up someone else's account with snapshots. Um, they'll just be in your account. But if you think someone else might want to refer to that data, then obviously go to manage users and share the snapshot with them. All right. Uh, same thing for your regulation sheets. You can take a copy of them and then put them away. All right, so that is snapshots so that you can save your work. Obviously, you can also export it to Excel and, and whatever, but might as well keep one in the system so that you can move the bills around, make widgets from it, whatever. Okay, uh, so that snapshots rolling over. So this is taking your bill sheet and actually moving it forward to look at 2022. Uh, so let's talk about that for a quick second. Do, do, do. All right, so if I look at my search here, um, on the query tab, you might have a number line. If so, make sure you have moved it up to 2022, assuming that you want it to cover 2022. Uh, if you would like this to happen automatically, then you can say current session, and it'll limit it just to the current session. And again, that means for 2021, 2022 sessions, the 2021 bills will stay here. We know which states those are, and we'll keep it all straight for you. But for 2021 sessions in one year states, those will no longer be on your sheet. So they should have fallen out January 1st. 
Um, if you still have some, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and then a comment, which only applies right this minute. Um, New Mexico and Maryland have special sessions from 2021 that are not over until today. And so those special session bills might still be on your sheet uh, and they'll fall out at the end of the month when I close those sessions. And then New Jersey, hopefully their 2020, 2021 session. Uh, so they're the only one who do it on the off, on the even to odd year. Um, you would think that would be over because it's not 2021 anymore, but their 2020, 2021 session actually runs through January 11th, I think of this year. Also, they do pre-files. So they could have pre-filed a bill in, 20, in December 2019 for the 2020 session, which then would have been active in 2021, and in fact, is active all the way until January 10th. So you could still have 2019 New Jersey bills in your bill sheet that are legitimate and should be there. Those will fall out once the session's closed. Unfortunately, I don't close it the next day because the state can still update data and still post new information uh, for at least a couple of weeks. So I will be closing all three of those out at the end of January. That's when all of your old New Jersey will finally automatically fall out of your bill sheets if you have it set to just 2022 or if you have set it to current session, then that's when all the old New Jersey will go out. Just an, an unfortunate fact of life, but that is our situation. All right, so that is rolling over. Just make sure that either your timeline includes 2022 or you have set your bill sheets uh, to current session and then they'll roll themselves over automatically. Uh, same thing for the right, well, not same thing. So regulations, of course, they don't have sessions. So they, we just give you a calendar date to pick to start your regulation search and to end your regulation search. So it might make sense to kind of review those and make and move those dates up so that you're not looking at too long a span of time, but that's up to you, like how, like do you want a year of regulations or three years of regulations or whatever. Um, all right, once you do all that, if you did it in the order we suggest here, your website widgets and your stakeholder pages and everything should still work and be fine. Um, but if you somehow got it crossed up, uh, then you may have messed up a, a stakeholder page or something, no problem, let us know, we will help you get it straightened out. Um, but yeah, as long as you take a copy and then archive the copy, you're golden. Um, all right, so then everything is rolled over and ready for 2022. Um, couple extra little details for housekeeping. Um, and again, this is something you can do if you open all your bill sheets and you have all those tabs. Again, you can do this at the same time. So it's just a quick look. Um, all right, so this, is nice and clean. I've got it current session. I don't have any extra extra stuff hanging around. This guy is ready. But if I had a bill sheet where I had added some bills by bill number, so, you know, like my key bills where I had hand and picked some bills and plussed them into the sheet to say these are my top however many important bills, then on the query tab, when you plus in a bill uh, or just type in a bill number, then you've got all these bills down here. Now we will include these regardless of your search terms, but also regardless of your session selection or anything here. Like we're just gonna go ahead and include these in here. The only thing these respect is what states you picked um, because we assume that you are just adding them in on purpose. Now, some of these might be from old sessions. So like Louisiana is a one year state. They haven't started their new 2022 session. So all the Louisiana bills should be old. Whereas California, is a two-year state. So some of those might be like still in a two-year legitimately alive, and some of them might be old and legitimately not in a current session. All right, so to save you time, we gave you this tool, the remove out of session bills tool. If I hover over the word remove, it turns red everything that's old. So that California, that first California bill, that is an old bill. Um, all the Louisiana ones are old. And then I had one old Alabama one and a couple current Alabama ones, plus some current California ones. All right, so let's look at that California bill real quick. Uh, so I'm gonna narrow this down and say CA. All right, so I've got my, um, most of these are California. 
Um, but if I sort, I see, oh yeah, I did have AB 101 was from a 2019 session. Okay, so that one is legitimately old. So, all right, so that was just me proving to you that this is appropriate. So if I hover over remove, it'll highlight for you what's gonna be removed. Even if you've got hundreds of bills, it'll do them all at once. And if you click on the remove, plunk, it takes out everything that is from an old session that's not important anymore. So if you've added a bunch of bills, again, we suggest you take a quick snapshot, save that for you know, the future if you ever wanna look back and then you can update your current sheet so that it only has current bills. Um, so yep, that is removing old bills. It's just as easy as that. If you have any bills added by number, you can hover over the remove to see if any of them are actually old, out of date from sessions that are over. Okay, so that's how you clean that up. Um, and then you also might consider if any of your bill sheets are just old and you don't need them anymore, um, you can delete them or you can just hide them. So you can put those away and make sure that, you know, encourage your users to do the same so you don't wind up with a bunch of junk. Uh, but you all know how to manage your, your computers and all of your stuff. Uh, all right. And then regulations. Similarly, uh, we don't have, again, we don't have like sessions so that we can drop stuff out. So like I mentioned before, you can just change your date range um, and you can also just remove any regs you don't need anymore. Um, and again, decide if you need if you need all the reg sheets you've got, if you need some new ones, if you wanna delete some of your old ones, whatever, get that all tidied up uh, so that you can hit the new year with everything all clean and ready to go. All right, so thank you. Uh, those are all of our tips for what's new that you might wanna take advantage of how to save your work, how to tidy up and make sure everything's current, and then the steps that we suggest you take uh, to review your sheets and make sure you're ready for the new year. All right, so that is right about the time that I had allotted uh, for the presentation. Do you have any questions? Can we help with anything? Anything you are thinking we would cover that we didn't get to? Patsy, anything you think I missed? Uh, no, but I see a hand from Sue. All right, Sue, let's let you talk. All right, you should be able to unmute and ask your question. Okay, hi, Karen, how are you? Hey, Sue, good to hear from you. Thanks, yeah, good to hear from you. Um, you know, I was... Um, distracted when you were talking about how the users set up their alerts. Would you mind just running through that again real quick? Absolutely, happy to. It's an important point. All right, so you saw me while we were doing this, uh, create a new bill sheet. So I made, I think something called complicated query, right? So that was my example. So when I made this bill sheet, by default, the alerts are blank. So you don't automatically get alerts unless you turn them on. But even more so, if I now take this and share it with someone else in my company or my organization, even though I've shared it with them, it doesn't share the alerts. They will need to go in and turn on their own alerts. So if you are expecting to be kept updated on this topic, you need to check that your alerts are turned on. And if you are expecting your users to stay updated on this topic, you need to ask them to go in and make sure they have set the alerts at the appropriate level. Because okay, when I, they can't, first get I can't it, do that for them. They have to do no, that themselves. They have to do it because as a business, we can't give people a way to spam and send unwanted email. Otherwise we're sunk. Uh, so everybody has to opt in to their own emails. So okay. yeah, unfortunately there's a real reason for that. Um, so you just need to say, hey, go in there and make sure your alerts are right. Or obviously I have that ability. Um, so we could definitely get together and go through your users together sometime if you want to, and we can make sure all their alerts are how they should be. So for anybody on this call, if you need to make sure your users are good and you don't trust them, or you just don't think they'll ever get in here um, to turn them on, don't trust them isn't the right word. If you don't think that they uh, they will find the momentum to come in and figure out how to do this, no problem. We can definitely do it together. Um, but you can't do it, unfortunately, from your own account. 
um, you've got to you got to have me to to get in and look at everybody's settings. Um, okay. But yeah, when you first share a sheet, there are no alerts turned on. So just remind everybody to double check and make sure the alerts are what they're expecting. And you need to do the same thing because when you first create a sheet, no alerts are turned on. So make sure it's set how you want it to be. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. That is one good thing to take away from this presentation. Um, all right. Any other questions? Okay. Well, good luck, everybody. I wish you a happy and healthy 2022. And I hope all the bills break your way. Um, yeah. And it was great to see you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye, everybody.